All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back. More with Kristen Tate, who's going to weigh in along with you, your phone calls at 877 Newsmax on this. I want you to watch this. Uh, this is my version of Gimme Five. It's a little early in the show, but this is an African American woman who works for the Trump Organization, and she put this uh, video, she participated in this video. Let's watch. As the daughter of a man born in Birmingham, Alabama, who rose against all odds to become one of the most established and respected doctors at Yale University, there is no amount of money in the world that could buy my loyalty to a family that subscribed to such intolerant and bigoted ideologies. The Trump family that I know is, without question, one of the most generous, compassionate, and philanthropic families I've ever had the privilege of knowing and the honor to call friends. So Lynn Patton, uh, an African-American with that story, works in the Trump uh, organization, and wait till you hear, you got to hear more. This video was so poignant and so touching, I just had to bring you parts of it. Watch. They have been incredibly loyal to me and to the countless dedicated people they employ around the world, hiring more minority and female executives than any other company for which I've ever worked. To equate racism with my boss's call for a temporary moratorium on a flawed immigration system that radical Islamic terrorists continue to exploit, or the construction of an impassable wall to protect our borders from the influx of illegal drugs is not only incendiary, it's wholly irresponsible and only serves to embolden the very hatred these draconian groups espouse. What common sense American wants another terrorist attack on our soil or to perpetuate this country's rampant drug epidemic? But to compare my boss to Adolf Hitler, simply to spin your own political agenda or social media punchline, is a personal affront to the extermination of over six million Jews and trivializes one of the worst acts of human genocide this world has ever seen. I just think that this is so important. I, I, I wish he would bring her out on the campaign trail and others. There's got to be more than just her. And her story, as you'll see in a second, really, really runs deep. Here's more. Rest assured, I am a highly intelligent, free-thinking, and independent woman. My opinions and decisions are based solely in fact, not fiction, speculation, assumption, or hearsay. I do not vote based upon the color of my skin, nor the signature on my paycheck. I judge my friends and forge my allegiances from direct personal interaction and moral character. That said, there is no higher barometer by which to measure oneself than the one continually set by this family and their spouses, and I should know. Now, wait till you hear, this isn't just, you know, a, a, a black woman with a, who came from a, a, that kind of family, as you saw, where her father grew up to, from uh, Birmingham to become a successful doctor. There's more to her story, much more. Watch. Like many Americans, I have struggled with substance abuse and addiction. The Trump family has stood by me through immensely difficult times without hesitation or concern for their own reputation by association. They continue to trust me with every aspect of their lives and the lives of their families. They invite me into their homes and welcome me at their family gatherings. For the past six years, I have held an executive position as it pertains to the distribution of their charitable funds and they have charged me to identify worthy and altruistic missions. I could not be more humbled. This is the Trump family that I know. 